Oh, we're not done with 2020 yet. There's a brand new series on Netflix that I believe is worth watching. Let's talk about it. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Equinox just dropped on Netflix today. I want to thank Netflix for providing me these screeners so I could watch in advance. And this was a show that I didn't know much about. But if you need something to fill the void of a show like Dark, this could be a good show to do that. So Astrid is nine years old in 1999 when a class of graduating students inexplicably disappears without a trace. And since she is the sister of one of those missing students, she becomes traumatized and plagued by these horrific visions after her sister's disappearance. So I read this, I was immediately on board. By the way, if you guys are enjoying these Netflix and want to drop a thumbs up or a comment, my contest is still going on, by the way. You can enter that in my top 10 Netflix shows of the year video. Uh, but as for Equinox, this had a nice feel to it from the trailer. I saw the poster, I saw that summary and said, this could be something special. And while I do believe there are a few pacing problems here and there, and for some, you may not have the patience that it requires to get through these only six episodes, by the way. I love these Netflix series that just get straight to the point, uh, and they don't have a lot of fat to trim. And I feel that way about Equinox, because while the pacing is not there 100% of the time, uh, if you can get past that, it's actually something that I slightly started to appreciate because they were taking their time with the characters. I believe a lot of people will get on board with this show, and I think it sets up a few beautiful things that fans of this genre, whether it be a drama, a mystery, a thriller, a dark and very intense show at times, fans are going to thoroughly enjoy that. A lot of it starts with the filmmaking, but the performances are absolutely spectacular, especially, and I want to highlight, uh, Danica Kerchich plays Astrid. It's her job to convince us that she is genuinely traumatized by these events. And she starts out in the first episode. It's not necessarily something that she wants to talk about, but then she begins to get plagued, like the description says, by all of these, these memories and these flashbacks of her sister. And we actually see a lot of those flashbacks come to life. We have the younger version of her and the older version of her. And all throughout the series, we're kind of cutting back and forth, but it never necessarily feels jarring. Uh, it's also filmed exquisitely, and I love the transitions between past and present. But then those nightmares begin to come back, and then one survivor from 1999 ends up dying. That's when she's kind of determined to find out, okay, what the heck happened to my sister? What happened to that class as a whole? It's such a strange occurrence that uh, at first it felt like everyone didn't take as seriously as they should have taken it. Obviously, you're going to be distraught losing a bunch of children like that, but maybe something more is at play. Maybe it's not what it looks like on the surface, and that's what she is determined to find out. And what she discovers is a very dark, a very unsettling truth that involves her, not only her sister, in a way that she, us as an audience, everyone around her, never truly imagined. And I don't want to go much further than that because as we start to answer these questions throughout the show, it feels like every episode there is a puzzle piece that falls into place. And by the time you get to the end, you have the entire puzzle. Maybe a few questions remaining, but as a whole, I believe they do a good job of not tipping their hat too much, right? They'll give us hints and context clues, and uh, it felt like every episode, all six of them gave us something to latch on to, but we're never truly in the know. And again, that's another element that could be frustrating to some. I go back to a show like Dark. I made the comparison. Dark is a show that you have to have patience with, but if you have patience, I promise you it will pay off in the end. Now, we don't know if Equinox is truly going to pay off, uh, but as for what we got in these six episodes... I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. And so what she's doing, since she is a podcaster, uh, kind of like a modern-day investigator, except, you know, 2020 podcaster, uh, she is going about interviews with these individuals that have something to do with that traumatic event, whether it was a loved one, uh, whether it was someone involved, and they're recalling things, they're answering questions, we start to get answers, and every now and then there are a few answers, you know, you go to a really smart person in a movie or a show like this, what does this mean? What does this have to do with this? And it always feels like they know exactly what they're talking about, but uh, in this case, I was truly convinced that one individual in particular knew exactly what he was saying. And that's kind of how you feel. You're, you're kind of in her mind, not only seeing these flashbacks that get crazier and crazier as we go through the series, uh, but also 
figuring things out with her. And that's uh, that's interesting. That makes for a good mystery that fits right in the genre. It fits right in what you want with a show like this. And Equinox is thoroughly entertaining. It also looks great. On a technical level, I thought the cinematography was engaging. The sound effects worked at times. And there were a lot of uh, camera techniques that they used to psych us out every now and then, and which worked extremely well. And the color correction, or lack thereof, I thought was really appropriate for certain scenes. Uh, because some scenes require a lot of color, and other scenes you have to kind of scale back. So they do that really well. Also, and something I never talk about, the intro to the show is really cool. I don't think I skipped it one time. I think I was six for six on intro, so... That's pretty good. So before I give you my score, thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to see a spoiler video on this show, let me know by dropping a thumbs up button. Overall, this plot shrouded in mystery slowly unfolds in an effective way. Piecing this puzzle together as we go will provide plenty of entertainment for audiences. I recommend Equinox this weekend. If you have nothing else to do, I know it's New Year's, uh, but as for my score, I'm going a 75%. This is a show worth watching. Again, Again, it has that same feel of dark. It's not quite on that level yet. What we got in this first season, I thoroughly enjoyed. So I would love to know what you guys think. Are you watching this Danish show on Netflix? Uh, how are you feeling about 2021? We have my most anticipated video coming. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what is in store for 2021. Hopefully, hopefully it's better. Okay, leave your comments. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.